Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Abstract reasoning remains one important subcomponent of executive functioning. Without an ability to conceptualize beyond the concrete nature of a relationship, additional planning, organizing, and self-regulation of behaviors becomes complicated. Make your mark, take our lead. Frontal lobe. Frontal lobe is one of the four lobes of the cerebral hemisphere. It controls attention, behavior, abstract thinking, problem solving, creative thought, emotion, intellect, initiative, judgment, coordinated movements, muscle movements, smell, physical reactions, and personality. Take our lead. Abstract thinkers are able to reflect on events and ideas, and on attributes and relationships separate from the objects that have those attributes or share those relationships. Thus, for example, a concrete thinker can think about this particular dog. A more abstract thinker can think about dogs in general. Take our lead. Abstract problems are often visual and typically do not involve social ideas. An example is predicting what comes next in a sequence of shapes by recognizing there are a pattern and relationship. Abstract reasoning is usually assessed as part of intelligence testing. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Concrete thinking is sometimes described in terms of its opposite, abstract thinking. This is the ability to consider concepts, make generalizations, and think philosophically. Concrete thinking is a necessary first step in understanding abstract ideas. Make your mark, take our lead. Although you cannot significantly improve your abstract reasoning skills within a very short time, you can learn and practice abstract reasoning test strategies, get familiar with a large number of logical rules that define series of shapes, and eliminate stress factors to quickly improve your performance. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Abstract thinking is the ability to understand concepts that are real, such as freedom or vulnerability, but which are not directly tied to concrete physical objects and experiences. Abstract thinking is the ability to absorb information from our senses and make connections to the wider world. Take our lead. Holistic thinking is the inquiry of a complex whole. In the case of business organizations, holistic thinking takes into account its purpose, values, function in its environment, process, and structure. It is the basis for the development of the business design construct, systems thinking, and strategy formation. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Concrete thinking refers to the thinking on the surface whereas abstract thinking is related to thinking in depth. Concrete thinking does not have any depth. It just refers to thinking in the periphery. While some mental process is involved in abstract thinking, no such effort is evolved in concrete thinking. Make your mark, take our lead. Abstract learners, prefer the world of ideas and feelings. 
they use reason and intuition to deal with ideas, concepts, and feelings. When Amanda finds a topic that interests her, she likes to dig deeper and learn more about it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.